You changed your shirt. Why, of course I changed my shirt. Well, obviously, guys. Well, hey, welcome to the Edmonton Comic Entertainment Expo. Uh, I'm Tanner. I'm a radio host and a new Cineplex uh, pre-show host starting next month. Uh, I changed my shirt, obviously, because... Well, Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Yeah, Power Rangers. the Power Rangers. Power Ranger panel. I think you guys know of that. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. For David Yost and Walter Emanuel Jones. The original blue and black ranger, although some people see white and gold. Yes. No, is that, a, is that an old joke? Oh. Oh. No, that's a stretch. Is that a stretch? <laughs> All right, we're off on a bad foot already. All right. What's up, guys? How you doing? Woo! Anybody know what time it is? It's morphing time. time. Hey, what time is it? It's morphing time. time. Hey, now, see, they already know what time it is. Exactly. The question is, do we know what time it is? I think it's... Uh, Oh, five after three. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, for anybody, I know I'm, I'm you're probably not aware of the shirt already, but if anybody was also questioning why I'm moderating this panel, uh, I have a little piece of artwork that my uh, my family dug up. I think we can get on the screen here. Walter saw this already. Oh. <laughs> it was maybe like five, six, I don't know, but I'm from Tanner, and then I put I love you, Mom, and then I drew the Red Ranger really good, and then it got progressively worse. <laughs> I got really long arms. Yeah, you're, you have like a red visor for some reason. I know, right? You look like the Cookie Monster. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's nice though. Good but, job. But that's yeah. it. Yeah. And how cool is it that you guys have like inspired, you've inspired like generations that people are here that they they grew up with with the show. It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. I mean, like, the thing is, is to to figure that uh, it's been 22 years since we started this whole thing and. And, and we are here now in Edmonton, Canada. What? Yeah. We have fans that are here that came out to see us from all over the place, and it just makes us so proud. We're so happy about it, right, David? Yeah, I mean, it's so humbling because when we started the show, obviously, we had no idea that the show would have such an amazing impact on so many people's lives. And we love uh, when you guys come up and tell us stories about how we, uh, the Power Rangers, inspired you to become martial artists or scientists or doctors or whatever it is that you became in life that somehow our characters uh, influenced you or inspired you. I mean, it's, it's really an honor and humbling. So we love you and we thank you all. It's always been a dream of mine to like, point to a curtain and then like Power Rangers walk out of it. So it's, it came true today. But if you guys do have questions in the audience, we do have an aisle mic. You can uh, start lining up and we'll get there uh, shortly. Until then, there's so many questions we can ask about the show. Obviously, it's a uh, couple seasons you guys were on together, so I thought we would let the, the cards decide as far as what questions we, we, we go to. So we'll open this pack up. This is oh. brand new, never been open, original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger cards. What's is, it, is, it, is it trivia cards? Or no, they're just like cards of, of the show, so then we'll, what we'll do is we'll like, like first, we'll first memory that comes to mind, you know, looking at cast members or certain scenes, villains. All right, all right. Let's check it out. Oh, just have before. That's a good one. Dust could fly out of this. I don't know what's going to happen. How, how dare you? They just weren't stored in a very good place. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's uh, start. Uh, first, oh, the, we got the holographic Rita Repulsa. Oh, yeah. 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 Rita yeah. holographic. Yeah. I got that. So working with uh, with Rita now, she was. I guess you guys would never really have worked with an actress because there was all the, the Japanese footage, correct? Correct. Yeah. So we that did, was an interesting fact. About we did have a. Uh, uh, a girl that worked on the set that wore her costume. She didn't say any of her lines, but she would. They would show up from behind, and right. Yeah, she was really. Tiny. Every now and then, they would cheat. They would cheat her Rita when we needed to. But yeah, Barbara Goodson was the voice of Rita, yep. so she was an American actress. Some of you may have met her at other cons. She travels around every now and then. But uh, most of the the woman that you see on screen was a, a Japanese woman that was filmed in Japan with the original series, and we just edited it into our series. 20 years after the fact, actually. Wow. So was it, was it cool to kind of see that all come together? Because you guys only shot, I guess, the one side of it, and then you would have saw the episodes completed and saw how it kind of all fit together. That must have been a cool experience. Yeah, I think the, the weirdest part was walking into ADR and 
and seeing the Rangers do stuff like, <laughs> and they're like, okay, so you're gonna say this, and I'm gonna say what? You know, like the sentence might have been like, uh, Zach here, and it's time to rock, or Zach here, and it's time to like, I gotta match that. So it was like, Zach here, and it's time to rock. You know, like, oh, okay, just get that in somehow, and it was like, that's different. Okay. Yeah, I mean, when we really started the show, I don't think we really kind of grasped the concept. Mm -hmm. And then, like Walter was saying, when we go into ADR, which is when we put our voice over the costume character, that's sort of how we saw the show get edited together, and then we started kind of understanding more about what the show was going to be like. Oh, very cool. Uh, next up, we got the the principal. Was it Mr. Kaplan? Mr. Kaplan, Kaplan, Kaplan yeah. Mr. Kaplan, Kaplan yeah. 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 I just, uh, I remember... Him, like his toupee always fell off, it seemed like, <laughs> in every episode. Somehow we would knock his toupee off. And then we'd have to do that little, wah, 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 that laugh, and we're like... <laughs> uh, silly kids, silly kids. And these guys must have been a lot of fun, uh, old Balkan Skull. Balkan yeah. Skull. Yeah. You, guys, you must have some stories on that front. I love the guys are classic, they were amazing. I mean, just talk about a, a comedy duel, I mean, they... They came together, in the original pilot, we had a different skull, and they, that skull was a little different, it was like scarier, I guess, and when they brought in the new skull, I just remember the day one that he came, it was like, right away, they started working on their comedy, and like, coming up with stick, and together, they were just uh, amazing, I'm, I'm so happy we had them on our cast. Yeah, I mean, they're both like, really talented, amazing actors, and Jason Narby, who did play Skull, went on to become a, well, he's a doctor at the oh, theater yeah. now. So wow. he teaches theater in, I think he's back in Chicago, um, at, a, at a college. So yeah, I mean, he's pretty, it was great working with them. They're funny. They wow. come up with stuff that I can't even imagine. And physically talented. I mean, yeah. like, you consider Bulk was actually Big much guy. heavier in the, in the very beginning. Yep. Uh, he did all kinds of stuff. We, there was a one episode where uh, we had a dance off, him and me, and I, I had to do, I did spins, and he did spins, and we didn't know what we were going to do at first. He just said, all right, man, so we got to, what are you going to do? I said, okay, I thought about, I'll do this, so I'll dance first, some hip hop keto, and then he did his version, just made it up on the spot. And, and then I did some turns, and he did a couple, he actually got in like two, and then ended up in some weird position, and then I just had to do a handstand on the bar, and he had to flip over the bar, like, get all his weight over the bar, come up and then have food all over him. But the fact that he was able to do all that at such a heavy weight was pretty amazing. He's very talented. Yeah. Next we have a, just we got a cast, a cast photo. You guys are hanging out on your, was that the rat book? Oh yeah, the rat book in Billy's garage. Those were the book. days. We got another rat book card. This is a terrible pack. It's like all the same. I got two Balkan <laughs> skulls. I got two rat book cards. What's going on? How's that for a card though? It had a smokestack on it? And somehow that smokestack made it fly. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Yeah, Billy, yeah. Billy, Billy was thinking. He was thinking, yeah. The smart guy. Smokestack. Make a car fly. You were the, 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 the scientist of the group. Yeah, the, the cast photo. You guys still, uh, do, you, do you guys see, like, I know you and Amy Jo, Amy jo are, are quite close. You guys still are, stay in touch. How about Austin St. John? Yeah, we still yeah, yeah. run into each other at a lot of events like this. Yeah, eh? we just did a con together in uh, Portland just last week. Yep. Well, no, I was with Austin last week in Cincinnati. You were with Austin last week. I was with Carrie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was with Austin in <laughs> Sacramento. You guys were in Sacramento. Yeah, but yeah, we, uh, we all travel around together. I'm still friends with everybody. I think I am. I'm friends, yeah, I'm I'm friends with like Walter. I'm friends with Austin. Yeah. I'm friends with Amy. I'm friends with JC David Frank. So, uh, original cast. I'm friends with David. Thank you. <laughs> so we're, we're all friends. We're, we're all, all friends. We're like this family, you know. Of course, you know, the family, there's, you know, sometimes there's some things and that happens, but it's all still it, it gets resolved and we all love each other. But yeah, we're all, we all went through so much together starting off the show through the audition process and uh, we just share this amazing moment of starting our careers really together, getting on a, a successful show, so it was awesome. I guess the last one is just, uh, I don't even remember this from the show, but it's a real, like, it looks like a stuffed saber tooth tiger. Must be the saber tooth tiger. The saber tooth tiger, yeah. yeah. So but it's, it's, what, do you, was, that in, was that in the show? Or yeah, it? Twee, the Yellow Ranger. It's no, but like the, the, this actual, do we, I have, think do we ever the, see in that the, in the show? In the original pilot, you see it briefly when we go for oh, morphing yes. sequence. That's so right. they would show the animal and then it would right. turn into whatever. Yeah, the I guess it was like a museum too. picture. I was like, yeah, that? I know, right? <laughs> So I think that those cards, like you said, are dusty, and uh, they're very old, probably a first edition release, and so 
they used pictures of us that, like, my character uh, never ever looked like. I had glasses that I never ever wore on the show, but there's tons of pictures of me. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. And then, of course, when you guys were assigned your the Zords and all the things behind it, it must be like the whole your whole lives now. It's like every time someone sees like a Triceratops or a Mastodon, they're like, "Hey, check this out!" They probably like tweet you pictures and stuff. For sure, absolutely. And I, I, I hit like. I actually, you know what? I, I think I did that. I was in the the Tyrell Museum in Drum Heller, and I think I actually tweeted you a picture of the Triceratops for some weird reason. I was like, and did, I think you did, did I like it? I think you did favorite. Okay, good. So there you I'm go. I try to. You guys. Attach me to a picture, or whatever. What is it? What is it? What's the word called? Tag. Tag. tag yeah. yeah. If you tag. Sorry, I'm old. If you tag, <laughs> me, on, if you tag me on a picture, I, I, t- I try to like them all. I don't get to all of them, but I, I do try. I think I want to get a, a T-shirt made with a mastodon, and I'm gonna have it say Master Dizzle. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, well, we got some audience questions. There's some people lined up at the mic. So if you have questions, yeah, feel free to jump in live. But uh, let's start with you. What do you got? With the new Power Rangers movie scheduled to come out in 2017, is there any uh, way that uh, maybe the original cameo would be? I think there's possibilities, but as of yet, there's no contracts. So we, we definitely hope. We hope so. Yeah. If you guys want to see it, make sure you reach out to the powers that be, Lionsgate, Saban, and go, hey, we want to see the Rangers in there. Make them put a, put a cameo in. Yeah. Let them know. We guys have the power. The reason we're here now is because of you guys. It's all because you know, of you. So. All because of you guys. So, you know, if you want it to happen, let's, let's do it. Make it happen. We'll do it for you. So, first off, I want to say hi, guys. Hi. Hello. A little bit of a long winded question, but. I've read articles as to why you guys left and whatnot, and that you guys weren't treated fairly and whatnot, and I don't want to get into that, but I just want to ask you guys, how do you guys feel now, 20 years later, that it's still running? Does that guy, is like, does that make you guys feel any better about it then? How do you guys feel doing conventions now, 20 years later? <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's a great question. Uh, so 20 years later, how do I feel about why yeah. I left, or just how do I feel about the show's success Not about 20 how years you left, but just about how the fandom has exploded. Like, does that make you feel better about the whole situation in general? Well, I mean, obviously, for us, for me, mm-hmm. like, this is a, a huge, unexpected <laughs> gift. Absolutely. So when I started the show, never in a million years would I have ever thought the show had the popularity that it had. And that here I am, 22 years later, getting to meet people when they were kids that watched us. Uh, in Canada. They, in Canada. <laughs> yeah, you guys tried to ban us in this country, but uh, uh, we, were, we were too violent for you. Us and our But, uh, uh, you know, that we, that we get to meet you all these years later, I mean, that's, that's like a gift. So, yes, for me, like, it, it eases some of the, the bad experiences that I had on the show. It, it makes it better for me because I, I'm truly honored, like I said, and truly humbled by you guys. I love to hear your stories, and the fact that I get to travel around the world and meet fans from all over the world is really exciting. And so I take it to heart. It means a lot to me. I'm pretty sure Walter feels similar, but he can tell you. Yeah, I do. I, I feel I like he feels. Um, but I, I, I'll add to this um, the fact that uh, the show is a non-union show. So, and, and which is part of the reason why I left the show in the beginning. Yeah. And, um, and it's still a non union show, which is pretty amazing to me. But um, at this point, like the fact that we are here again 22 years later and, and getting to meet and greet all the fans from internationally, it's like it, it does make everything better in a way. It's like the, the, the effect the show had on people in general discounts everything else to it. It's like, that's worth more than any other gift I could get because the fact that I can say hello to someone and just be nice, the person that I am, be kind to anybody uh, that is a fan of the show and then have that have an effect on them that's so positive and such a, brings such a positive light to them. What an amazing gift for me. So yeah, it's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks guys. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. What hey, a real Rachel. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I was with you guys for more. No, no we, hey, we morphed together. Yes, yes, we did. Yes, exactly. So I actually have two questions. One's for each of you. Um, there's an episode, Power Ranger Punks. <laughs> How fun did you have playing a punk? And the second part is for Walter. Hip Hop Keto and Itsy Bitsy Spider. That episode. <laughs> was that your own moves, or did somebody else come up with it? Well, in Itsy Bitsy Spider, 
Uh, when I oh, that was Walter's question. <laughs> so uh, Power Ranger punks. Obviously, uh, any time that you get a break away from your normal character is a lot of fun as an actor because you get to experiment and grow. So uh, that was the episode that Amy, Joe, and I became punks. We drank a little potion and it screwed us up. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. You know, I enjoy playing Billy. Billy was a challenge for me in a lot of ways because he he uses big words. And so I had to look words up in the dictionary as an actor to try to figure out what I was saying. So when I get to go off and play a tough guy, sort of, so to speak, uh, it was it was a lot of fun. So I enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun seeing him play that role because he, he was like, it was new. It was like, you know, he'd been playing Billy for so long and, and all of a sudden he was like this other character and like grimy. And I was like, look at him. Oh my God. You know, it was cool. They both made great punks. Both came out. Yeah. Thank you. Um, as far as Itsy Bitsy Spider is concerned, um, it was Hip Hop Keto was something I had to completely make up on my own because they couldn't, you know, there were no martial arts that art, artists there that go, okay, you're gonna dance like this and then you're gonna do this. So it was like I had to figure out how to make dancing and hip hop and acrobatics work together. So I had to think in my mind, how would I make this into a fight move, you know? And then that particular uh, episode, I had to create a kata for the kids. So that was challenging. And I spent some time trying to pull it together and, and I, you know, I, I had a friend there that was um, on the, in the original pilot that had come to visit the set and who was a dancer. And I was like, what do you think about this? She's like, no, that sucks. <laughs> what do you think about, how, how about if I do this? And she's like, all right, that works. And, and I, I had people that kind of helped me collaborate, but it pretty much was all my creation. Thank you. Thank you, great question. Actually with us, uh, speaking of Red Ranger and Hip Hop Keto, Steve Cardenas last weekend in uh, the Saskatoon Comic Entertainment Expo, and I asked him, I said, I'm gonna be with uh, you guys next weekend, you got any dirt? And all he said was, just uh, get Walter to do the Hip Hop Keto, he loves doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that's all he said. I don't know if that's true or not, I'm just, I'm just passing on a message from well, Steve. I, you know, I have a certain, you know, I love dance. It's a thing that, that comes natural to me. World right? champion. Yeah, yeah, salsa, salsa, world champ, and there it is. Uh, in fact, if you want to see one dance with the stars, let them know. <laughs> yes. That's right, let's get that started. Or do that, exactly. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll bust out a little bit about keto before we get out of here. So I guess that was a part of the part of the role, is that you guys actually are, like you, your backgrounds before you got the, got the spots, are very physical, because you did a lot of that stuff. There was no real stunt doubles, like you were doing the kicks and all that stuff, so you... I guess the dancing did play a big role in it. It was part of the audition process. So yeah. when, they, when they were looking for the characters act, they were looking for somebody that could do martial arts, gymnastics, and dance, and create hip hop keto. And with David, he had to be a gymnast, right? He had to be. Yeah, I mean, they obviously wanted the cast to be physical. Obviously, Billy didn't start off fighting and flipping too much to, to get to learn. And you start flipping all over the place. You're like, here comes Billy. <laughs> <laughs> here goes Billy. <laughs> I think it was the old like Super Nintendo game because you had like the overalls on the character had it and it was like yeah all right come good back time to the <laughs> all right obviously I love the show that's why I'm here but I have a really random question for you guys what's in your Starbucks drink <laughs> David uh, well it's a grande because it's from Starbucks grande soy no foam decaf latte. <laughs> Pretty exciting, huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I can't see it without really asking. Uh, do you, in Canada, instead of saying no foam, do you guys say wet? No? No. Okay. No foam. In, in England, and uh, I can't remember what other country I was in, they're like, oh no, you just say it's wet. And I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't know if you guys did that here. For like cappuccino? My question is did you know uh, if you were making a, uh, a TV uh, series of martial arts? mixed with uh, pop culture during the 90s when you were young? Did we know if that's what the show was going to end up being? Yeah. I don't know that we knew it would become part of pop culture. Um, we sort of had an idea, obviously, because when they were casting the show, um, that they needed martial artists and gymnasts and dancers. So we kind of had a concept of there would be some elements in that. But for me, I don't think I really understood the show until I actually got to see the, the original pilot cut together. Like, it didn't make any sense to me when I read it in a script. I was like, what? And then, uh, and then you could see how it, how it came. And then the fact that you guys love it and you, you soaked up 
the superhero aspect, the dinosaurs, just like five different kids from different ethnic backgrounds that were friends, and you know, we were superheroes, and it became a pop culture phenomenon. I mean, I, I had no idea going in that it would be that, but it, it turned out to be really cool. Uh, my other question is, did you know you were gonna make so many episodes during the 90s? <laughs> no, I mean, go. Uh, we, we, I don't think we knew, I mean, we were, we got a contract that said we were gonna do so many episodes. But we, I, would, I don't think we were aware that the show was going to be on daily. Well, in the States, it was on Monday through Friday originally. Then it went Monday through Saturday. And we were shooting four episodes every two weeks. It, it was like crazy. So yeah, I mean, I, I think initially we were contracted for 40 episodes. And then we filmed almost all those episodes even before the show started airing. So we're making all this stuff, having no idea how it was going to turn out to TV land. And then it aired, and then I think they ordered, from that point, they just kept ordering, ordering, ordering more and more episodes. So uh, we, had, we, we knew initially we were going to do 40 episodes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And alive on, and well in Netflix and in Canada yeah. here, so Woo. whole new uh, generation Whole of new generation so. being introduced. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, what, first thing I'd like to say, the best thing about Power Rangers is my favorite time was my father and I would watch it every week. He would sit down next to me watching it right on the couch when I was a kid. And my question is, did you know that they would continue making spin-offs of the series since you did it? And I, I didn't know. I was like, you know, I think at one point they mentioned to us, well, eventually some of you will leave the show and uh, we will, you know, we'll have other cast members come in. And then, like towards the very end, towards the second season before the film, I think that was mentioned to me. Um, but I had no idea that it was going to be like every year there would be a different generation of Power Rangers or a different, you know, franchise of Power Rangers. So. And, and another question is, have you guys, uh, as being, uh, since being the original Power Rangers, have you continued to check out the new Power Rangers as they aired every year? David? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to turn the crowd against me, but Walter does. Uh, I mean, honestly, I didn't watch the show when I was on it because uh, I was filming it. And then afterwards, because I was an adult, it's not something that I really would sit down and watch. Um, but since, all these years later, and meeting other actors from the other series, I have kind of like looked at some, the people that I, I'm friend, friendly with, I look at some of their episodes just to see what it was like for them. But I've never sat down and watched like all of Dino Charge or all of, uh, what was the one before Samurai. that? Samurai. Samurai and all that. And the one before that would have been Me uh, Mega Force. And then what Mega was Force. the one before that? Uh, that would have been Samurai. And then the one before that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, wait till you're 20 years older from now and try using this brain. <laughs> Thank you for that question, though. That was great. Hey, hey Spidey. Buddy? My son's a brand new fan. She only just discovered a couple of uh, months ago. Nice. Great question for you guys. How did the Megazords do so many cool moves? <laughs> Well, um, you know what, they're, they're well trained, and uh, we feed them really good, and uh, <laughs> now, you know, I, I gotta say that the creators of the show, when they created the Megazords, which I think are really cool, and like robotics, you know, like, I, 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 can you imagine if I actually could call my dinosaur right now and he'd be parked out back, I mean, like, he could all roll in and be like, it'd be like a big bus, I mean, let's all go for a ride in my Megazord, yeah! <laughs> Um, but they, I think in the, in the filming of it, they just make it look really cool. They use like miniatures and so forth and so on. They can do cool things and they connect and it becomes the Megazord. And that's awesome. I love it. Have you played with the toys? Not yet. Dad, we just started Dad, watching Megazord. the show. Dad, Christmas this year. Exactly. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be an expensive that's year awesome. for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All the re-releases, uh, I think Toys R Us put out all the original. I'm sure you guys are just getting rich off of that stuff, hey? <laughs> how, how do you guys say no? Do you say nay? <laughs> nay. No, we don't. We don't get any royalties yeah. from the toys or the TV show or anything. No. We, we unfortunately, Heim Saban, who's worth about four billion almost now, he gets all the cool? money. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going up. Yeah. Yeah, so, we don't, we don't make anything off of the merchandise or the TV show. Sorry. Uh, Sorry to disappoint you. Me too, man. <laughs> I was gonna ask for like a like a Megazord or something, but if you guys aren't 
Yeah, we don't get any royalties. We weren't even no giving the toys. No, no pull on that. I know you collect stuff, hey? You, I see you have like a huge collection. You try to, you actually try to collect a lot of the memorabilia from the, from the show. I, I well, have... Well, people bring it as gifts, I guess. Well, that, but I was fortunate enough, my parents were kind of smart when I started the show. Just oh, bought cool. one of everything. Awesome. Uh, my mom. And uh, so, and it's all mine now. And it's all in the attic. And, uh, you know, it's pretty amazing and I... It's kind of cool that I have all that. Maybe someday I'll, I don't know, donate it wow. to charity, like a museum or something like that. I don't know. I thought I was a cool guy with my cards. Probably have a whole binder at home. Well, actually, Walter. <laughs> Walter's got like five boxes of those cards. What? Dude, I'm selling them at the table. <laughs> so you, you can get? buy those little packs from Walter if you want to. But uh, I, I do have, I have four boxes of those too, in, in my in my collection. I don't sell them. Nothing wrong with selling them. <laughs> this is all coming out wrong. Okay! Another <laughs> audience question. <laughs> Very Hi. Here. My name is Holly. Hey, buddy. Um, I got a question. Um, how am I going to Power Rangers? How do you morph into Power Rangers? How do you morph into Power Rangers? Great question. Yeah. That is a great question. Um, we have morphers that appear magically from behind our back. <laughs> We push the button, beep, and all of a sudden, poof, my hair changes. It's, it's, it's really interesting. No, uh, it, it's, it's, the movie, it's movie magic. It's the art of television and, and what they do uh, to make us look amazing and like superheroes. Well, uh, will we, um, another question, um, I'll morph into Ashley Morph of Pile Angels. Do we actually morph from the movie? Yeah. Do we actually morph into Power Rangers? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's very similar to what we did in the TV show. So we just call on our, it's exactly the same thing. I had a film, just so you know, I had to film my morph sequence. Uh, there's something wrong with me. I'm not a very talented actor. But uh, I had to film my morph sequence like 45 times. <laughs> and it was because all of a sudden, like this crowd started coming around me. Like you just stand in front of camera and you go, Triceratops, you know? And uh, we had to redo it for the movie. But first I kept blinking, because I have this blinking thing. You'll see it in the TV show. Uh, I blink all the time when I morph. But, and they were like, no, you can't blink. You can't blink. And I was like, okay. And then that producer's standing there, and then another producer comes, and another producer's, then all the cast is standing there, and then all the crew starts coming around. There's like 40 people watching me. And I'm just like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. And uh, so yeah, I did it David like did the, the blanking times. thing again. Come on. And, yeah, David, don't blink. So eventually, I think they got it. But could you imagine? Poor editor had to choose out of 45 takes. <laughs> All right, just a little side note. Uh, hello, uh, David and Walter. Uh, I'm Billy. Uh, hey, Billy. <laughs> hey, Billy. <laughs> um, being the age you were at the time. Uh, did any of the Rangers ever socially go clubbing or party together? What, why are you reading this off your phone, first of all? <laughs> I, I, wrote, I wrote down like three questions. Oh, okay, I just want to make sure you don't work for TMZ. Or <laughs> 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 right did, we, did we go partying and clubbing together? Yeah. Walter? <laughs> <laughs> well, mm, I actually lived in a house with, um, with Austin, who was the Red Ranger, and uh, Danny Wayne, who was one of the Scott guys on the show as well, and uh, we didn't have to go clubbing because we brought the club to the house. Ow! <laughs> we had the best parties. We had like amazing parties at my house, and um, and we also had a friend of ours that was working at a place called Bobby McGee's, and we would all always go there too to, to hang out and, and party. So yeah, I guess we, we had our party days. I forget about Bobby McGee's. Bobby it's McGee's, crazy. I know. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, we used to we used to hang out like after hours yeah. on the weekends. We would we were all great friends, and Walter definitely brought down the house with the parties. Um, I had to practice my hip hop keto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I was kind of wondering how much do you figure a power ranger can lift? Say it again. How much do you figure a power ranger can lift? Can lift? Can lift? Like bench yeah, press? Like how strong? Oh, easily. 225 for me. I mean, if he's got 225, he got three, so. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sorry, I got like three. Okay, last question though. Okay. 
Would, I, would either of you be interested in an adult-oriented violent Power Rangers movie? Adult and oriented what? Like violent Power violent? Rangers movie. Like, a little higher of a rating, I guess. Yeah, like directed more towards like uh, twenty-year-olds stuff. Well, the, it's funny because they just did a film like that that was online. It was fairly popular as of late. Um, it, it was interesting. It was like really well done. It was. You know, special effects are awesome. The problem with that and that format is we still have kids as fans. We have a young audience still as fans. 22 years later, I'm sorry, 22 years later, Power Rangers still is a kid show. Now we have adult fans as well. For them, I think a lot of them thought it was pretty cool and would think it was pretty cool. But for our children fans, we would hate for them to go online and look up Power Rangers and see something that was not appropriate. Yep. <laughs> so, um, just one thing, um, um, my condolences on, uh, uh, Tweet Frank, uh, so I just wanted to give my condolences, because I didn't say it yesterday, I just wanted to say that, and also, um, do you think the 90s was the last great decade? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 80s may have started it, but 90s was probably the last great decade. Yeah, I think uh, I think I think the '90s are awesome for you because you grew up in the '90s. Yeah, and so everybody's decade is epic and awesome to them. Although for me, even as a young actor, the '90s were probably one of my favorite times to be alive and kicking and having fun. So I don't know if it's the last great one, but uh, maybe there'll be another great one in a couple decades here. Um, do you also miss uh, Fox Kids? Fox Do I miss Kids? Fox Kids? Yeah. <laughs> um, did it air on Fox Kids yeah, here? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 actually. You guys have Fox Kids in Canada? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. YTV. YTV. YTV? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know that I, I miss it. It was fun to work It was fun to work for them. Yeah, it's like doing promos and stuff for Fox Kids. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. I must be able to turn on the TV every day and go, hey, there I am. <laughs> That's cool. Is that a PSA? Okay, look. Hey, don't be violent. Don't be a bully. Don't kick, right. your, don't kick your brother. That's cool. Well, I'll have more questions for you guys tomorrow, so I'll be here tomorrow as well. So. Okay. Awesome, bro. We'll answer them for you. Yeah, okay. Well, have a good day, you guys. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for saying that about Tweet. Yeah. That yes. was nice. Hello. Um, I have two questions. Okay. Um, one is, how long does it actually take you to like put on your costume? Good question. Uh, well, the zipper's in back. Yeah. So you need some help. Like one hour? <laughs> yeah, well, I one hour. An hour. Now, it, it's, it's spandex, it's tight, so it kind of goes on like this. <laughs> Can you help me with this? Yep. <laughs> How many seconds? That was 53 seconds. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so now I know how people do that. And my second question is, what if you're like in your suit and you have to go to the washroom? <laughs> <laughs> That's that a that great question. <laughs> and then he's got to put it back on. That was, what's your name? Dylan? Yeah. Dylan, that's a great question. Nobody's ever asked us that. <laughs> and to add to that, uh, on the movie, it was like 30 times worse than that. Oh my like, gosh. The movie suits were like really heavy, and we actually had to be like tied into them. It's pretty crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think that uh, I think that is it for uh, audience questions. But uh, one second, uh, Chris, are you in the room? Chris Words. Did he come back? What time? Is it? It is 22. Oh, he thinks he has time. All right. Uh -huh. Sorry. Shall didn't we mean, didn't, didn't mean to interrupt the panel. Do we still have more time? Yeah, we got uh, another like four-ish minutes. Really? Nobody else has any more questions, huh? Dance. 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 Walter's going to dance. Walter's gonna dance. Walter's gonna dance. Well, he asked him to well, open it. After you were right. done all those Cosmic episodes from season one to four, four blue how did it felt like uh, when you were finally going to make the movie? Huh? 
after filming all those episodes. I mean, it's exciting to get to go film a movie. It's like we got to go to Australia. We ended up being there for six months. Uh, the, the sets were bigger and grander, bigger budgets. Um, it was just a lot more fun. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? Love it. I'll ask two quick it's questions. It's a beautiful city. Very cool people. I'll ask two quick questions. I know we're kind of stuck for time. Um, what was your most annoying thing about putting on the costumes? But you did have to do those scenes where they put you in the Ranger costumes. For me, I just always felt like people were looking at my butt. <laughs> and people, people always say, you have a fatter butt than I thought you would. So I always thought that was interesting. I always felt like the, the helmets were really claustrophobic. Cause you put it on and you hear the click, click. And sometimes it was tight. So sometimes when you closed it, your cheek would get caught in the side or like click, ow, oh. Oh, take it off. Yeah, so that, that wasn't fun for me. Yeah, Walter's right about that. And that was for Walter, did they approach you or Austin about maybe making a cameo in the movie at all or no? How about doing what, sorry? Uh, a cameo in the original movie. Uh, in the original movie. Uh, n no, we, we were supposed to do the movie, but because of contract negotiations, uh, Tweet, Austin, and myself were, we didn't do it, yeah. No, I understand yeah. you guys left the show before the movie, I just wanted to make, they'd like, try to contact you guys to do a cameo at some point. Not for the original, no. Ah, that's too bad. No. Alright, well thank you very much. Thank you. So are you, are we waiting on somebody, or do you want to, because we're actually out of, we are out of time. How dare you? I, I know, I know, I know. Okay, Walter's gonna dance for us. I want to do a little hip hop keto. Let me see if you guys can help me out, right? So, I, I'm, I'm gonna try something. I've never done this before, but we're gonna try something. We're gonna split the room in half from here to there. You guys are gonna say, It's the Ranger, the Black Ranger. It's the Ranger. Who? Let me try it. Let's see. We're gonna say, It's the Ranger, the Black Ranger. It's the Ranger. Who? One more time. It's the Ranger. <laughs> Blue you Ranger. Guys say, the Black Ranger! <laughs> okay? So you answer them. Here we go. Let's try it. Ready? We go, it's the Ranger. The Black Ranger. It's the Ranger. Who? Black, Black Ranger. Ranger! It's the Ranger. The Black Ranger. It's the Ranger. Who? The Black, Black Ranger! Ranger. Keep going. The Black Ranger. It's the Ranger. Who? The Black, Black Ranger. Ranger! It's the Ranger. The Black Ranger. It's the Ranger. Black Ranger! It's the Ranger. Black Ranger. Ranger! It's the Ranger! Black Ranger! It's the Ranger! Black Ranger! Give it up one more time for Walter Emanuel Jones and David Yost, everybody! Thank you! Yeah. Hey, is, uh, is little Dylan still in the room? Dylan, are you still here? Dylan! Okay, so Dylan, I want you to come down to my table after this, and Walter and I are going to sign an autograph picture for you. Because you, you asked the best question today. It was awesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, Dylan, you can come to the front of the stage and we'll give it to you right now. Thanks a lot, guys. Give it up one more time for David and Walter.